Yo, what is up guys, Anthony Kings here today bringing you a brand new video and today is another tutorial. If you saw my previous tutorial, which I'm going to tag somewhere along right here, you saw a video explaining how to use Sony Vegas to render HD quality videos to be able to be processed on Twitter. This video will teach you how to process videos for Facebook as well on how to process videos for Twitter that the previous tutorial didn't work on. Now, the previous tutorial worked on any video that was over 60 frames per second. Problem is, people were trying to put videos that were at 30 or 15 frames and then trying to render them at 40. Thus, when putting into Twitter, Twitter couldn't process it and it was causing problems. In this method right here, it's pretty much going to establish a straight 30 frames per second finish for your video, which will allow almost any video to be uploaded to Twitter as well as to be able to upload to Facebook. So if you find this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button. Also share it to somebody who's trying to upload HD content, whether it be to Facebook or Twitter. Now without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up Sony Vegas, of course. Once you have Sony Vegas open, make sure to click right here where it says properties or hit alt enter. Once your properties open up, this should be the panel you're looking at. Now the settings and properties you see here are what I use to render my videos at 60 frames per second for YouTube. That's not what we're going to be looking at. You're going to want to go ahead and hit the drop down menu, scroll up and go to HDV 720-30p 1280x720 29.970 FPS. You're going to click that, okay? Once you've clicked here, make sure this says width, you know, make sure it says at uh, 1280 and then height at 720. You want to make sure the frame rate says 29970NTSC. And then you're going to want to change the name to Facebook HD, something like that. You can name it anything you want. But before hitting OK and apply, you're going to want to go to the audio. Now, the reason you're going to go to audio is because you're going to change this sample rate to 44,100. I'm not quite sure, but Facebook is actually pretty picky about the uh, sample rate. So make sure to set it to right here to have the best possible outcome when processing the video. Now, once you've changed the name to Facebook, whatever, for me, I already have one saved as Facebook 30 FPS. As you can see, everything is the same and audio is 44,100. You're gonna go hit hit apply and then okay. Now that you have the properties all figured out, you're gonna wanna go ahead and drop something into the video file. Once you drop the file, this is going to pop up. Just hit no to make sure that it doesn't change the uh, project video settings to match the media. Now that we have the video in here, you want to keep in mind that since you're uploading to Facebook, your only limitation is that you can't have it longer than 120 minutes or more than four gigabytes. If the file is more than four gigs, it will not upload. And if it's longer than 120, you may have some problems. For Twitter, you're going to want it less than 30 seconds. So that's very important. If you're uploading for Twitter, 30 seconds. If you're uploading for Facebook, it could be up to five minutes. So for us today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just use these six minutes of Overwatch gameplay to teach what we're doing. So of course, you're gonna wanna go to right click, properties, and disable resampling. It's something you always wanna do to your clips before even editing. And let's say you've already finished your editing. This is your clip. This is your six minutes and 25 second long clip. What you're gonna wanna do now is you're gonna want to hit Render as. Once your render as settings open up, you want to go to main concept AVC slash double AC MP4. You're going to scroll down to Internet HD 720. You're going to customize the template. Make sure this says 1280 by 720. Also make sure this says 29 by 970 FPS. You can change the encoding mode to use the CUDA if available if your computer's graphics card enables it. You want to go to audio and make sure to change the sample rate to 44,100. And then make sure to change the name to Facebook Render. Hit save, then hit OK. Now that you have it here, make sure to give it a little star so that way if you ever want to pick your exact one, you have, I have my Twitter render, Facebook render, my 60 FPS, and the new 60 FPS render that I use. Oh, turns out I already had a Facebook 30 FPS one. So then you choose the Facebook render that you want, then hit render. And with that, you are now going to be able to get a video file that is at 30 frames per second with the proper audio sample rate as well as the proper dimensions 
to be able to upload to Twitter and Facebook. This is extremely convenient because Facebook is a very big way to advertise your channel, your network, your community, your business, anything at all because of the share function, because of how much, how many people interact with these videos on Facebook. Hopefully you guys are able to create HD content for both Twitter and Facebook. However, keep in mind that if you want a little bit better of quality for Twitter, go check out the other previous tutorial video I did specifically for that. On that one, you'll be able to render videos at 40 frames rather than 30, but of course, as mentioned previously, the original file does have to be higher than 40 frames. So for example, at 60 frames or more. That being said, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please comment them down in the comment section below. I try to get back to every single comment that I receive. If there's any issues that come up, please, 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 please leave them down below so that way I can get back to you and redo this and retest it and do what I can to ensure that I create a video that actually works for everyone. As I mentioned in the beginning, if this video was helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more tutorials or other gaming content that's on my channel. And that'll be it for me. Be humble, stay royal, and I'll see everybody next time.